Hey everybody, welcome back to Kit's Kitchen, or it's now called The Kit's Kitchen Show because somebody took Kit's Kitchen from me. Anyway, you can call it Kit's Kitchen, you can call it whatever. Um, I am making a cake today. It is the children's half birthday, and the tradition is that we celebrate their half birthday with half a cake. I think I came up with that because, um, because I have twins and it just feels right to have two days to celebrate, not just their one birthday in November. So today, May 26th, is their half birthday. So we're going to make this cake that I normally make them for their half birthday and sometimes their birthday too because they really like it and I like it and it's so easy. It is the French yogurt, French yogurt cake with lemon icing. And it is from this wonderful book called A Homemade Life by Molly Weisenberg. She used to have a, um, a food blog that I would follow religious, religiously. And then she wrote some books and she now has restaurants, so she doesn't really do the blog anymore. But this book has tons of recipes in it. And this one is a recipe that I definitely go to a lot. If you can, I don't know if you can see, but there's like food on it. Anyway. We're gonna make the cake with this lovely mixer. I should just become the spokesperson for KitchenAid, but um, today it truly is going to help me. But I need to go find the little blade for it. So I'll be right back. I am back and let's just do the dump and spin. So of course it's going to require yogurt and I'm using skier because that's what we eat now. We don't really eat yogurt anymore, we eat skier. But if you can't find skier, you can find um, Greek yogurt, works really well. And if you get whole milk, that's even better. Just because why bother eating something that's not real, right? Go for the real stuff that tastes amazing. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so a half a cup of skier and I'm gonna do the wet stuff first. So there's yogurt and there is oil. Sorry, everybody's sort of together here. Half a cup of olive oil. And we're gonna do a cup of sugar. Dump and spin, right? I'm gonna do two, I'm just gonna sort of use the same spoon. Sorry, everybody. Um, two teaspoons of baking powder, about right, and then this is super important. I guess it's not really wet, but we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna grate a whole lemon zest, a whole lemon. This is a big one too, but the lemon zest like makes it go to that other level, you know what I mean? And then the lemon icing that we're gonna make or uh, when the cake is done, we pour it over the top. Amazing. I am always up for anything lemon, are you? Lemon pies, lemon squares, lemon custard, lemon cake. And I didn't even grow up with lemon. If you watched my other videos, I have talked a lot about lime and lemon and how in the tropics where I grew up, we don't have lemons, we just have lime. But maybe that's why I'm a little obsessed with lemon. Lemon flowers, have you smelled those? The best scent in the world. We used to live by this farm in Santa Cruz and in California. And you know, lemons grow in California like weeds. And we would take the kids to the farm and when the blossoms are opening, it was like heaven. I loved going up there just smelling lemon blossoms. Okay, wet stuff. Eggs. We need three eggs. We're almost done, you guys. One. Two. Let's try not to get the uh, shells in there. Three. And then we're going to do a little spinning. It would be good if it's on. Go. There's the oven. So I think it's just fun 
to watch something else work for you. Look at that, it's amazing. Okay, so the last thing we need is the flour. And it's a cup and a half of flour. And you guys, I found the jackpot and I actually found regular flour. It was like winning the lottery. I should have gotten three or four, but I'm just gonna try to be nice to other people and have them get some too. So, you know, this is from Bexley Natural Market. So if you are putting in an order, make sure you um, get a thing of flour before it's gone. Say so one and a half. Then just a pinch of salt. And that's it. I am going to put this in a, um, a greased little cake pan and then put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes or until the cake is done. You know, you use the little, little fork test and we'll make the icing. All right, guys, let's make the icing. Actually, Molly in her book has two options. You can either make a syrup or the icing, lemon syrup or lemon icing for the cake. And I kind of like it somewhere in between. Syrup is a little bit too liquidy, icing is too thick. So we're just gonna make it the consistency that I like. <laughs> so really just powdered sugar, this is about one cup. And I have more if we need to um, change the consistency. And then we have a lemon that I was grating, right? This is a big lemon. She asked for about three tablespoons of lemon juice. We'll just see. I'm gonna start with um, half a lemon and see what that, what that feels like. So I think this is like my favorite tool in the kitchen, right? The lemon squeezer. So we're gonna squeeze that and honestly you're just gonna have to go by feel now if you've made cake before you'll know that the icing can be a little tricky so see how that just congeals right away that's probably too thick because i want it to like be able to run when i pour it just have it run so i'm just gonna maybe just do a little bit more See if there's any more in there. And that might just be enough. And if you really like your icing to be super lemony, you can even add a little more extract, like lemon extract, or not. So let me see here. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. So that was half of a really big lemon. Um, and a cup of powdered sugar. And we're just gonna wait for the cake to come out and have it cool down, and then we'll pour this over the cake. And, very important, we cut the cake in half because it's their half birthday, and I saved the other half for another time. Not six months, but maybe, who knows? Sometimes I forget what's in the freezer. All right, we'll be back with the cake. All right, the cake is done. Not sure what the little blemish is, but I'm not gonna worry about it because we're going to cover it up. And I decided to just make um, double the batch, just in case I wanted more. Never um, too much icing. It's always too little, right? So simply, I'm just gonna pour it right in the middle of the cake and have it do its thing. That's, that's the fun part. Well, I just think cooking is fun. So all of it is fun. There you go, it's gonna do its thing. And then I'm just gonna let it sit and then it will sort of um, congeal a little bit. And when we cut it in half tonight, it will have the, the icing would have like been absorbed into the cake. So good, you guys. And you saw how easy that was, right? Yogurt, a little bit of lemon rind, lemon peel, and just some basics. Flour, sugar, eggs, 
olive oil. So it's actually, um, well, I was gonna say dairy free, but only if you use <laughs> non-dairy yogurt. Anyway, it is one of our favorite cakes. And I think you should make it. I just got some mint from the garden, so I thought why not do a little, little garnish, a little, little something nice right in the middle. Now it will be just a question of what we do with it when we cut it in half. Do we cut the leaves in half? What do we do? Anyway, there's the lemon yogurt cake French style and I will have a link to the recipe and I hope you get to enjoy it. Look at how pretty it is. Yeah, and happy 16 and a half to my son and daughter. They're the best thing, best things ever, better than this cake even. Yeah, and this is good, so, all right. See you guys later.